Brought to you by or now star 229 hash to register. Wendy Wanawoli. Welcome back from the break. As we continue with our stories, a Mioga beneficiary who transitioned from subsistence farming to commercialized agriculture counts millions from investing heavily in mixed farming. The 57-year-old Baguma Eric, a father of six from Karambi village in Fort Portal, is a shining example of how a Mioga Sako funds are transforming rather lives from the initial capital of 800,000 to a model farmer in Fort Portal. With the initial capital of 800,000, a 57-year-old Baguma Erika resident of Karambit village in Fort Portal city is now a model farmer in the areas with a muscle gain from the Emioga intervention. From his initial investment of 800,000 shillings, Baguma invested in vegetable growing from which he harvested and sold to buy a cow and calf which have multiplied to a stock of six dairy cattle. Earning about two, two and a half million from vegetable which I was growing. I planted carrots, green pepper, cabbages, cabbage. Then when I, uh, I get the profit, I bought one cow. With the profits gained, he further purchased fresh and cows and later expanded by acquiring four hectares of land where he plans to grow grass for his cattle. Then after that getting two million, I go back to the circle. I claim another money. They give me another loan of two million. And I have some little money which I've been keeping, keeping. I collect it. Then I add one and I go and I buy a land, which is about four hectares. Baguma and his wife are a powerful tool for rural economic transformation. And he urges the visiting team from Greater Masaka, Uganda, to embrace wealth creation initiatives like Emioga for sustainable community development. Ma, every per month, I have to get about uh, 500,000. That's the money which I'm earning per month. So but uh, as I'm here, I have a lot of, a prog I have a big program. Like now, I want to start my house, my permanent house, residence house. Meanwhile, Emyoga Sako beneficiaries from various districts of Greater Masaka are in Kamarole Zone for a peer-to-peer -peer benchmarking exercise organized by the Microfinance Support Center. So there is no Chinese. There is no Englishman or European or American who is going to love Uganda more than us. More than us. So let's work for ourselves. Let's work for our own country because this country is ours. We inherited, inherited it from our grandparents and we shall have to make it better for the generation that is going to come after us. The team agreed to implement the successful strategies observed during their visit to improve circles in their districts. Relatedly, the visiting team was particularly inspired by the Kargutu mainstream circle in Untoroko district. Established in 2016 with just 16 local farmers and 160,000 Ugandan shillings, this circle has played a pivotal role in transforming the economic fortunes of farmers in the region. Now, Uganda.